Hello, I'm going to show you how to create these circles using a repeater and how to create the illusion that you're flying through them for infinity. Let's get into it. To get things started, we'll click on new comp, hit enter. I'll go grab my ellipse tool. If it's not there for you, click on the shape and hold your mouse down, go find the ellipse tool. Make sure your fill is set to none. Click OK, and my stroke is 15 pixels, but you can have yours set to anything. Click in the middle of the canvas, doesn't have to be perfect, we'll fix that later. Control Shift, drag out, and align this to the middle of my comp. I'm going to quickly rename my layer, selecting it, hitting enter, I'm going to write circles on there. Click on add, repeater. Drop down the menu, drop down transform repeater, and on the position, hit zero. And then I'm gonna go to scale, and I'm gonna put mine to 75%. Uh, but if you want it to be tighter or further apart, you can just play with these settings. So I'll bring that back. And now I'm gonna increase the copies. And what I like to do is increase the copies until I can see some white in the middle of all these circles and there's no black showing. So if I bring it back down here and that helps with creating the illusion that it's a perfect loop. I'm just gonna increase that back. And now as you can see, my anchor point isn't perfectly centered to this. So an easy way to fix that, because there's a lot of anchor points within this circle, just type up anchor in here and it'll bring up all these anchor points. And I can see here that under transform, my anchor points aren't at zero. So I'm gonna just adjust that to zero. And then I'm gonna go back here in my align menu and just hit center to composition. I'm gonna hit S uh, while I have my layer selected to bring up scale. And I'm just gonna scale this up until I get maybe a couple of ripples out here, and there we go. And after centering it again, I can see that it's completely off the center, and I have a sneaky suspicion that is because some positions are off. So I'm gonna type up position in here, and look down, and sure enough, under the transform ellipse, uh, the position is off. So I'm gonna just hit zero in here. And now when we recenter it, uh, it's centered perfectly in there. We'll hit our X in the search bar to get out of there. We'll drop down the menu again and bring up the repeater options. And the last thing we need to do is hold Alt and click on the offset. We need to type up time asterisk minus one. And the one equals to a second. So just important to know because it'll create a perfect loop whenever you set your timeline a multiplier of one second. That's just important to know if you wanna create a perfect loop because your loop will last a second long. So if you wanna create a perfect loop, you just have to make it a multiple of one. So one second, two seconds, three seconds, you get the idea. It'll always create a perfect loop. And if we hit our space bar, this is what you get and it will keep on going forever and ever until you stop your timeline. So you can create a short uh, timeline like this that's three seconds, or if you were to let it run the entirety of your timeline, it'll keep on producing more and more circles that ripple out. And if you wanna speed this up, all you need to do is increase the number here to two, and it'll go twice as fast. And then if you want to have the inverse effect, you just add two and remove the minus. And this is what you're gonna get. And you saw these leaving. So what we could do here to solve that is to bring our timeline work area bar down to one second and just loop this section of the timeline. So we'll go back here hit our space bar, and now it's creating a perfect loop. And basically, if you, the other way to do it would be to just increase the scale until you have a few more rings outside of your composition, and then you could let it run for a little bit longer if you'd like. 
And that's it. That's how you create some repeating circles and have the illusion that you're flying through it. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll catch you on the next one. <laughs>